Last call, track 19. The 1130 Amtrak Silver Star. Come for Tampa and Miami. All aboard. If you heard the voice of the guy who's the uh, station announcer that for the trains coming in, going to Tampa, whatever, we did uh, Untouchables. There was a guy who was a sound editor, Jack Fitzstevens, and he had this great voice. I really loved his voice. And I was here around the editing room, and so I asked him when we did um, Untouchables if he'd come and be the voice of the train announcer in the Untouchables, and he did, and it was great. So when we did Carlito's Way, we were back in the train station. I said, Jack, would you mind coming in and doing that? No one's ever going to know it but me, but I'd love for you to come in and do it. And he did, so he's in both movies. I think it speaks more to Brian De Palma's style, really. Um, he has a very specific idea in his head about what he wants and how the scene is visualized. And he presents that to you, the editor, in the dailies. And it's really there. And if you don't present it the way he expects to see it, um, he lets you know it. And certainly there's room for uh, change and collaboration and doing something differently. But for the most part, the bulk of it is in the way he shoots it. So I think no matter who the editor was, as long as he had a good rapport with Brian, that he would be or she would be able to uh, cut it in a way that the dailies dictated. You might notice that the escalator would never be, it would never take that long for him to get from the top to the bottom of the escalator, but we sort of stretched it out in the editing process. I, I feel like the dailies speak to us. The dailies, we read the dailies and they tell us how they want to be edited. The director's vision is what we as editors are trying to fulfill and trying to bring out. And that's our job and our craft and our talent. That's what we want to do.